Hello internet, my name is Vic. So this is a different kind of video. As you can tell by the title, this is not something you would probably expect to find on my channel. I never thought I'd make this kind of video, but you know what, I'm bored. I'm, like, the world is crazy right now, so why not? This part of the video is the disclaimer. This is the beginning, the introduction, the... Hey, I'm Vic, I like to trip. This video is for educational purposes only. It is to show what it's like. I feel that if people are able to see what it's like, see someone's experience firsthand, they can know whether or not they want to do it. Of course, everyone experiences things differently. I'm just showing what it does. There's a few things that you want to do if it's your first time. You want to have a babysitter, someone who's not consuming them with you, someone who is, you know, just there to make sure that you don't do anything stupid. I definitely recommend that for your first time. Another thing you want to make sure of is to stay hydrated throughout your trip. I watched someone make a video about the different levels of tripping because they are there are different levels to the amount that you take. He broke it up, broke it down very well, and it was very educational. I'll leave a link below. I am going to be doing an eighth in this video. That is the full dose to get the full trip. That's like the alleged uh, amount that you have to take to get the full experience. I'm going to be recording as much as I can of it. I say that because when I took 2.5 last time, I tried to do some Snapchats of what was going on, and every time I would open up Snapchat and look in that front-facing camera and see my face, I would be like, hmm, do I? Is that me? No, I look weird, and I would just stop. I've got people who know I'm tripping, so I should be all right, but I am going to stay in my room and just chill and vibe. Everyone's trips are different, but um, stay tuned. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun for both of us. First time for both of us. Just an update. I ate uh, them about forty minutes ago, and I haven't started to trip yet. But I will obviously start recording as soon as things start happening. So stay tuned. I don't think I fully submerged into a trip yet, but I'm watching YouTube videos. But I'm not fully watching it. I'm like drifting off and listening. And every time I close my eyes, I feel like I'm another like animal. Does this make it doesn't make any sense probably. Like a cat. And then I'll suddenly start to feel like each and every part of my body become like cat. And I'll open my eyes and think about it for a second, I'm like obviously I'm not a cat. And then I'll close my eyes again and I just now, I closed my eyes and I felt like I was becoming a dragonfly. This doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. You feel? I'm not fully submerged yet, but I feel like it's it's coming. Like, it's inching its way in. I haven't reached my peak. Hello, an update. So, I'm starting to see trails. It's a very obvious, uh, I can't even find words right now, indication that you're starting to enter the depths of a trip. Anything that moves, like the smoke right now, is trailing really slowly. You know if you stare at a, at a flash in a camera for a while, and you close your eyes, there's like that light that's there? Well, right now, for me, when I close my eyes, that light starts to move and expand and create shapes. And even if I open my eyes, it's still doing that right now. I don't know if the phone is focused or not on it, but I am, and it's blue. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. I've been watching, like, TikToks and stuff, just, like, keeping my mind occupied, I guess, and just, like, having a regular night, trying to see what's up. Everyone on TikTok looks really funny, and, like, faces and shapes are all weird, and, like, I know they're not using filters because I checked. But like everything's moving different and weird and shit. So I'm definitely tripping. I'm thinking about like getting off social media soon and just closing my eyes and vibing and seeing what that does. Um, I feel like I might go into another dimension maybe. We'll see. But yeah, so far so good. It's like 1 a.m. I took them at 9 p.m. I'm not even open my eyes because I don't even want to like fuck up the what's going on right now. But I'm definitely having an out-of-body experience. I feel like I'm not 
in my body right now, I feel like like touching my body doesn't feel like I'm touching my body. Because right now, I'm completely not here. It's wild. My pupils are probably massive. <laughs> but I don't even want to look at myself right now. But yeah. Another dimension. It's pretty cool. Alright, so look. I just came to the bathroom, right? The walls are moving. I know they're not, but they are to me. Like, these patterns are, like, swirling. It's hard to explain. And this... <laughs> this is tripping me out. Looking in the phone to look in the mirror. But when I look in the mirror, it's like... Everything is like a fishbowl, right? And it's like very clear. But then when I look in the phone to look in the mirror, it doesn't look like that. But look at my eyes. <laughs> but do you see my eyeballs right now? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Insane. This is the mirror, right? Okay, I just wanted to capture this moment. I can't do it anymore. I can, I can see so clear. I have terrible vision, right? But I can see very clear right now. Like, detail. Even just standing this far away from the mirror, I can still see very, it's like HD. And, I mean, I can't describe it. Other than HD, I can't, I can't normally see it's like, out of focus is a good way to describe it. It's like it's like when the camera is out of focus, that's what it's like to me all the time. But right now, everything is very clear, but everything is also moving. And the walls are breathing. The walls behind me are breathing. Everything's alive. That's it's pretty cool. Hey. Um, so I'm definitely, like, in the peak, because this is when I'm, like, you can tell I got off my phone, and I started walking around, right? I was literally, like, on the floor for, like, a solid five minutes, because I saw shiny stuff on the floor, but there's nothing shiny on the floor, it's just the floor. I also feel awkward right now recording this, because I feel like I'm one of those, like, MySpace kids. MySpace. Whatever happened to MySpace? Does anyone? Does anybody know? Like it just we just stopped using it. I can't remember. Okay. See, I'm, I know I'm at my peak now because now I'm thinking of weird shit, and I'm because of this light, I'm seeing the insides of my eyeballs. That doesn't sound right, but it's. It's a way to describe it. It's like veins. You know, like how your eyeball has like all these veins and they're intricate? That's how I'm seeing as I look away from the light and back to it. It also looks like rainbow. I'm seeing a lot of rainbow things. Like everything is rainbow. And I mean, I feel like that says something. Like, the spectrum. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything's a rainbow. But, like, everyone wants to be anti-LGBTQIA+. But everything has a... What the... Oh, wow. I, I can't even see what I'm doing right now because of the light. Okay, I'm sitting down. Ooh, we're good. This is, this is the peak. I should actually set up... I'm going to set up my little 
thing. I look at me. Hold on, one moment. Hello. Hi. Hey. How's it? Why I'm a mess. My name is Vic. This is my voice. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> rewind. Okay. Mushrooms cure depression. I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. Okay. Whoa. I feel like I just... <clears throat> yes. Hello, Internet. My name is Vic, and I am on mushrooms right now. You know this already. I don't know why I'm doing an intro. There's already... Okay. Just hear me out. <sighs> Drugs like this are illegal because they are the cure. Depression, anxiety, all these things that we have and we struggle with can be cured by marijuana, by mushrooms, by the chemicals. The ch okay. Everything that comes from the earth that is natural is illegal. But everything that is made in a factory and is manipulated and, you know, all that is legal. But by prescription only, right? So doctors prescribe you these medications that are supposed to blanket your depression or blanket your anxiety. Blanket, like they put a cap over it. And they make you feel like you're okay. But if you stop taking this medication the mask is removed, the filter is taken away, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm not okay. And it's, it's still there, right? But if you smoke, or if you eat mushrooms, or take mushrooms, or if you do acid, anything psychedelic, DMT, anything that is natural from this earth, you feel euphoric, you feel okay, like you feel like Right now, there's a pandemic happening. I know. I'm aware of that. But I feel above it right now. Is that weird? Is, is it, I don't know. I am susceptible to getting it because I have seasonal bronchitis and all this stuff. I smoke cigarettes, right? I cough up shit in the morning. You know what I mean? So I'm susceptible to getting it. I haven't gotten it yet. I work at Walmart. I haven't gotten it yet. I wash my hands. I stay clean. I'm a clean person. Um, I still don't have it. <clears throat> you know, it's just like, I'm not trying to laugh to make a mockery. I'm just in a really good mood because mushrooms. But, um, it's almost like the pandemic and the fear and everything put into people is from the media. It's I'm perfectly normal. Everything's, I mean, I'm actually better. I feel better than I did before when I consumed them. Like, I'm fine. Um, people know, like I said, people know that I'm tripping shrooms and they've been checking up on me. I've been hydrating. Where's my water bottle? I have been hydrating. Every time I remember, I'm just like, oh, I need to take a drink of water. The thing about mushrooms is like everything tastes amazing. I, don't, I mean, water doesn't have a taste, but this is like the best thing I have ever consumed ever right now. It's water. It's it's literally like Walmart brand water. This is like gold right now, right? Everyone's trying to get this, and I'm just here drinking it. it it's the best, it literally is the best thing ever. Am I real? You know? Like when I went in the bathroom earlier and turned the light on, it's like I could see more. So like, should I just... That light's unnecessary now, but it's like... If I... If I look at something long enough... It moves. Like my leg hair is making like the coolest pattern right now. I don't even feel like I smoked that cigarette. Did I smoke a cigarette? I did. I smoked. I packed this pack. 
I've lost all concept of time. I don't... Time is not real, okay? I'm, I'm here to tell you that right now. Time is something that we have created. We just go by. But who's to say it's, it's... What's today? Monday, the 23rd of March. Okay, I know what day... It, the only reason I know what day it is is because my phone says, right? The calendar on my phone says, but like... Who says that that's the actual date? Like, somebody's been keeping up with this shit? Ever since... Ever since when? Right? When? Because if you think about it... When we're born... Right? Our minds are completely blank. There's nothing in there. Or is there? Maybe... When we're born... The whole entire... Concept of speech is new to us. We, c we can't talk in those bodies that we're born into because they're babies, right? But what if that's when we know everything there is to know because we were just we're just born, right? We just all of a sudden, boop, you know. I feel like that right there is that that one moment when you have access to everything. But we can't remember that. Why can't we remember? Because that at that moment we were open to everything. But then when we're born, and as we progress through life, our minds get smaller and smaller and smaller into whatever our caretakers teach us. But then when we go out into the world, our minds expand again. And they become open to everything, and they want to learn everything. And it's like we spend our whole lives trying to learn what we had in the beginning, but we just can't remember. And that is wild. There's something to unlock. You know what I mean? It's like there's something. I just, I want to unlock it. But I, I feel like I'm very close but it's like I'm not quite there yet. You know, but it's like you're, you're right there at the, let's just call it a door. You're right there at the door and you're about to open it and unlock everything, ever. And then that's it. You can't, your mind just stops you. It's, it's very frustrating because like I just want to, I just want to open it. But like my mind is like, mm -mm, nah. Maybe next time, buddy. You didn't take enough mushrooms. But, like, I did more than I did last time. Why can't I? Can I get there? I just gotta let go. I gotta let go. Hey, Google. Play Nice Mix on Spotify. Okay, your Spotify playlist called Nice Mix. Here you go. Hey Google, why are drugs illegal? My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, why are psychedelics illegal? Sorry, I don't understand. Ain't that something? <laughs> I'm telling you, the government, hey Google, why is the government scared?
to admit that psychedelics aren't bad. Sorry, I don't understand. Pull the fucking trigger. I know you can't see me, but I'm sitting here having this thought, like, how do people, how do normal people sleep? How do they lay? Do you lay on your back? Or your side? Fetal position? You know? I don't, I don't lay normal. I don't, but what is normal? I'm just trying to lay here, and every time I close my eyes, I feel like my body is being stretched pulled in 5,000 different directions, but I still am, like, at my core. Like, there's a pull. There's, like, a gravitational... A gravitational pull that's, like, holding me to the bed and my body. But it's, like, every, every other thing is pulling me away. But I'm just stuck to my body. Like, I'm attached to my body. I can't go anywhere else. But it's like I want to. I'm somewhere else right now. It's awesome. You should try it. <laughs> 